Today, I'm going to show you guys how to download and how to play Valorant Mobile, essentially, on iOS and Android devices. We all know that Valorant Mobile has been coming out for quite a while now. It has been months since we first learned about it. So this one Chinese company has taken advantage of the hype and swooped under our radar and just put out a ripoff of Valorant Mobile. It is literally so remarkably similar to the real Valorant game that it might as well be called Valorant Mobile. It is insane. This is Hyperfront. It just came out. It's created by NetEase Games. And as you can see from the gameplay, there are a lot of similarities to tell you guys the least, all right? And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can play this game right now. I really hope you do enjoy and you learn something new. If you are excited, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below for more Valorant Mobile content. For content on this game and content on the real Valorant Mobile. Thanks so much, guys. And with that being said, let's get this started. All right, everybody. So I hope you're excited. Let's begin this tutorial for Android devices first. What you want to do is open up your web browser. It doesn't matter if it's Google Chrome or Opera or Firefox. Doesn't matter. What you need to do, though, is search taptap.io. This is the link that I have at the top of my screen. Once you search that up, you should see this website right here. And there is a big blue button at the bottom of the screen that says open TapTap app for more exciting content. When you click on that, it's going to ask to download the TapTap app. And it's perfectly fine. The TapTap Tap app is basically an alternative to the Google Play Store. So make sure to click yes and allow, and eventually it will download the TapTap Tap app. At this point in time, you should see the TapTap Tap app on your screen right here. When you open it up for the very first time, you should see the ability to search different apps. And you're going to want to search Hyperfront. There's two different apps that appear. There is the first one that says pre-register and you don't want to click on this one and pre-register for it because you can play it right now. You can just download it and connect to a different VPN. I do find it funny though that, that this game, the ripoff Valorant Mobile has more pre-registers right now than the original Valorant Mobile. That is just the funniest thing to me, but you're going to want to click on the second app that appears. Hyperfront, it says closed beta test, but we're going to trick the system so you can actually get into that closed beta test. If you scroll down just a bit, you can see that there is a closed test for four different regions, Canada, Brazil, Thailand, and Japan. And now keep those countries in mind, see which one is the closest to you. You're going to click the download button. That should be right where my button says play. There should be a download button for you. You're going to click on that. You're going to make sure to allow installs from TapTap. Tap. It's probably going to pop up with something that says it's not allowed. And then you want to make sure to click OK or allow or something like that. Then there's going to eventually be an install button. You're going to click on that. It's going to come to a big screen that just says installing Hyperfront. And then eventually it will be installed and you should see it on your screen as mine is on the second row right here. Now, before you open up the Hyperfront app, you're going to have to be able to connect to one of the different regions that has the closed beta test. If you're watching this video and you're from either Japan, Thailand, Brazil, or Canada, guess what? Good news. You can just open the app and you're done. But if you're from anywhere else, what you need to do is download a VPN. And there's a lot of different VPNs that you can download. You could probably even download ones that actually cost money and then do the free trial because the closed beta test is only going to last for a few days. So something like Turbo VPN has a free trial for seven days. You can do the free trial and then make sure to end your subscription before it starts charging you at the end of the free trial. But I'm going to just show you guys one that's free that doesn't cost any money. It's this one right here, VPN Super Unlimited Proxy. This is something that I've used in the past and generally works pretty well. When you open it up, it doesn't matter which VPN you use. You want to make sure one of the regions is available to connect to. So it's taking just a little bit. There's an ad. Let's go click out of that. And we can see now which locations are available on the free section. So we scroll down. We see Canada. That's good. That's the closest country to me right now. I'm in the United States. There's maybe Brazil potentially. There could be some other countries. There could be Japan. And uh, it looks like actually on this particular app, only Canada is available on the free server. So keep that in mind. If you're watching this video from India, for instance, you may want to download a different VPN that has potentially Thailand or Japan or something like that. But for me, 
I live in the US, so this one's perfectly fine. I'm gonna go connect to the Canadian server and then I can open up Hyperfront and show you guys that it will work. All right, so I got this thing to set up here. Connection request, there's another ad. So let's go close out of that and the connect was success. So I, uh, I'm now connected to a Canadian VPN. So in theory, everything should work. If we scroll down from the top of our screen, we should see that we are connected now to our VPN and I can open up Hyperfront now and uh, see if this thing is gonna work. And we are loading it up for the very first time. I don't know if it's gonna have to download different resources or anything like that. I would imagine it's probably gonna have to, just like with PUBG, with Call of Duty, with other games like that. And there we go. It says, welcome to Hyperfronts. There we go. All right, so we can exit out of this right now. And I'm curious, I'm gonna just do a guest account right now. I wanna see if the servers are actually online yet and connect to the server Canada. Great, we're gonna click okay. You're gonna have to accept to their terms of service and there we go, we got into the training ground. Beautiful, all right, fantastic. So now we are basically playing Valorant Mobile or the closest thing we have to Valorant Mobile right now. So I've gotten to the point now where we can actually see some of the similarities between Valorant. Here's like our special abilities in this tutorial. Good job. Whoa. Glad to have you Good on job. Thanks so much. I, I really appreciate it. Is it... Uh, victory. Oh, there we go. Okay, victory complete. Very nice. All right, everybody. So welcome. Hopefully both iOS and Android users are here. Uh, for the iOS users, I told them to click on a timestamp and they should be listening to this very first gameplay. So I, uh, I got through the tutorial, the training ground. It was pretty simple. We got a good understanding of the different weapons, the abilities and other stuff like that, but I haven't really messed around with my settings too much. I didn't even really change my HUD layouts or my sensitivity. I probably should, but I feel like, you know, at least our first couple of matches aren't going to be too difficult. This is my profile. There's my ID. You can see it up at the top left of the screen. I would love if some of you guys could add me. That would be great because right now I have zero friends. Very sad. I know. So add me as a friend and uh, another little tip. Make sure to go to your mail because if you do play in this closed beta, you get some special rewards. You get 700 gems, and uh, I think the gems are probably going to be useful for something. Maybe you can actually buy part of the season battle pass. No, it's actually locked right now, so you can't do that. Events? Oh, look at this. Tap to claim. Nice. Okay, cool. I got the Blooming M92 pistol, and then uh, there's your 15-day bonus. You can get a couple of cool skins and stuff like that, so make sure to click through all of these different buttons so you're not missing out on special rewards and stuff like that. We can't play in ranked just yet because you have to reach level four in order to do that. I wanted to, to actually show you guys my very first match. This is very exciting. I don't know if I'm gonna play very well or bad. I just wanna let you know I've never played the original Valorant before. Never played the real Valorant, so I don't know what to expect. This is my first experience on any Valorant style game. Like I've never even played Overwatch before. Haven't played too much of CSGO. I played a little bit of it, but not too much, all right? Look at this, it finds players very quickly, which is very nice, even though I'm connected to the Canadian VPN. And I think I'm gonna go with this person because she's the very first champion. Her name is Coldcast. She looks cool, not gonna lie. I think she is the one that freezes stuff. So she can put a special ability down that like freezes the enemies so they can't run very fast and other stuff like that. I don't really know exactly what the special abilities these other people have are. Like this guy Sentinel at the right hand side of the screen. No idea what he does or this person's Storm, Faith Arrow, Elixir. I guess we'll find out in due time when I probably die from everybody, but uh, I don't know. I have no idea what to expect. I'm a little bit worried too, though, because we're not playing in ranked. We're just playing in regular public lobbies, and that means that there could be a lot of very, very good players. So, uh, hey, reconnect. Come on. We're good? Ready. Yeah, okay, all right. So when you start, you can actually buy a better weapon. You can buy some armor, stuff like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rock with the default weapons here. Did I add my skin? No, I didn't. I think I'm using the M92 right now. But uh, And as you can see, at the right-hand side of my screen, I already can lay down a trap. Now, there is a CC, as it's called, and a block. And uh, the block, 
I believe, is this, like, thing of ice. You can just put an ice wall, like, all the way from here to here, and it blocks the enemies from being able to go in this direction. And then there's also the CC, which is, like, your very special ability. It's, like, your strongest ability. But you have to kill enemies in order to actually use that. Now, I don't know what this thing is. I think it just shrouds you so people can't see you. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! I'm gonna die! I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I made a big mistake. Oh, god dang it. I already died on my very first match. All right. Joe, J-E-U-X. We're watching him right now. He's got his, his bow and arrow. You the man. You the man. He's going to clutch it right now. I see the footsteps. Dude, I see him. Oh, my god. Come on, Joe. Ju. Aju. Oh, he's screwed. He's not even shooting. What is he doing? He's worse than me. He's not. He's not worse than me. I doubted him. It's 1v2. Oh my god, is he gonna clutch it? My man. Oh, come on. You were so close. Dude, that guy, he was—he almost won it for us. He almost clutched it. All right, you know what? It's fine, though. I'm not expecting to win my very first matches. We're just getting a hang of everything, and uh, I don't know. What should I buy? Oh. Yeah, I'm so ready to go now. I'm not stuck with this stupid pistol anymore. I got myself a full-on machine gun, and I think I just bought some more armor, so we are good to go. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so screwed, aren't I? I'm so dead. I'm, I, I, I suck at this game right now. Yep, I'm screwed. Let's block it! killed him through the freaking wall! What am I doing? Yes! I killed the person through the tornado! Please! Yes! Yes! I did it! What the- What did I just do? I just shot random things at people. I freaking did it! I'm such a noob! Can I pick up the guy's vector that was over here? Instead of this pistol? No, I can't. Oh god, I made a mistake. Oh no. I made a big mistake. There's four enemies remaining, four of us. Oh, and you can inspect your gun. That's very nice. Look at that. Somebody put something down. No, 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 no. Reconnect. Ah, see, so there are a couple of connection issues with my Three VPN that I'm using. Remaining. So, okay, keep that in mind. It depends on the VPN that you're using, how smooth your connection is going to be. So, one ally left. One enemy remaining. oh my God, there's one, one V one. It's a one V one right now. Holy moly, why did I get put so much pressure? No! Stop it! Yes! Woo! Let's go! I'm so good! No, I'm not. I'm not good. But look at this. We're actually doing all right here. Man, it's actually kind of hard to commentate this because it's such like a stressful thing. Obviously... Wow, that's cool. Um... When you get better at the game and more comfortable, it's going to be easier to commentate. But at least in the beginning here, yeah, it's pretty pretty tough. All right, me and Zhu. Me and Joe. Joe Mama. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. I'm a failure. What is wrong with me? Oh, it's 3v3. Come on, guys. Let's go. Joe, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's hiding in the tornado. Both, there's two tornadoes right now on the ground. It says one enemy remaining. Very nice. Okay, so this match, this match was a complete dud. Shoot him. Good. Good job, Tonya. All right. Well, that match, that match was a complete failure. Uh, it looks like the enemy team did not put up too much of a fight. I just completely failed. Oh, but I'm going to use a sniper now. Yes. Oh my God. Wow. Look at this. You can actually zoom in twice with the sniper. Oh, that is actually pretty useful. Very nice. How you guys like my sniper? Tonya, you like it? I don't think I'm going to do very well with the sniper. I didn't do very well with the sniper in the training ground, but I'm going to go around this way to B. I'm going to rush B, okay? Um, I'm scared to switch to my knife too, because I think... Oh my god. Oh god! Yes! I hit him! Yes! There's a person right around the corner. Maybe not. Dude, I got two hits. I'm actually very impressed with myself. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, one I'm moving up. Remaining. There's one enemy remaining. No! What? You were in the freaking corner! You little camping noob! Ten seconds, be faster! Why are you looking at a wall? What are you doing? Okay, looks like my teammates are not the uh, the Time most pro out. players in the entire world. Operation I don't think... Succeeded. Wait, oh, victory. We got a victory. Okay, so never mind. We got the victory. I think all it is is as long as you have more enemies remain... Or more... More teammates remaining on your side, then you're good to go. And basically, the next couple matches after this, I was a complete noob. Honestly, at this point in time, I could finish up this match here, but we have already gone on for a very, very long time. I don't want to make this video too long because I don't want people to feel like, oh, since this is a tutorial, it's like 30 minutes long. Why would I want to sit through a whole 30 minute long tutorial? I included gameplay as well. That's why. But um, I just wanted to give you guys my very first few matches, my very first few rounds, I guess I could say. And I honestly really, really do enjoy this game. I feel bad, but I'm going to quit the game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Teammates, they can figure out how to win on their own part but um but yeah that is hyperfront or valorant mobile essentially this is literally like valorant mobile and i really do enjoy this game now uh this is not going to be the end of the video on youtube after this is going to be the ios tutorial but for every ios user i hope after you watched that you came to this so uh yeah you got to see some gameplay i uh Really hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, please take a second, hit that like button, subscribe down below for more videos just like this. And with that being said, I can't wait to get better. And I'll see you all in the next episode. All right, everybody. So if you are an iOS user, let's get this started. Now, I just want to let you all know that if you are an iOS user, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient. You can't play the game just yet, but you can pre-register for it. And not too many people have pre-registered yet, so... I would assume you're going to be ahead of many of the other people. So if you do pre-register, you're probably going to be able to play before most other people. So what you're going to want to do is open up your web browser, probably Safari, and go to the link that I have at the very bottom of my screen, taptap.io. When you do that, it should take you to this screen and you should automatically have a pop-up that says add taptap to home screen. Once you do that, you're going to click on the button at the bottom center of your screen. And you should see somewhere on your list of options, add to home screen that I have highlighted right here. Once you click on that, you can swipe out of your web browser and then find on your home screen where the app was just added. Tap tap is right here, added at the very bottom of my screen. And when I open it up for the very first time, well, this technically isn't my very first time, you might have like a little pop-up notification or something like that. You should just click okay or allow or something like that. You're gonna wanna search Hyperfront. Now, Android users actually have a direct download at this point, but if you are on an Apple device, you should only see pre-register right now. But when you click on that, you can see that this game only has 21,000 pre-registrations right now, and probably the vast majority of those people are on Android devices. Most of the world uses Android, and I would think that probably at least 75%, maybe even 80% of those people are on Android. So not too many people have pre-registered on iOS devices yet. So that means you're gonna be ahead of the crowd by a long shot. You're gonna have to sign into an account. And then once you log into an account, you just click the pre-registration button and that is it. If you don't know how to log into an account, what you need to do is click the button at the very top right of your screen. You can see it right next to the bell button. You'll need to log in with either an email or a phone number. But at this point in time, you should be set to go on an iOS device. Hopefully, it's only going to be a few days before you can actually download this game. If the servers are just now coming online, I would assume it's not going to be too long before iOS devices can actually play this game. While you're at it, though, you might as well actually search Valorant Mobile and pre-register for that one as well. Now, this one has a lot of pre-registrations, as you can see, 1 million. So a lot more people know about this game, but you might as well. I would assume that there's probably going to actually be more people allowed to play on this beta test. So you might as well just pre-register for that one as well, just so you can see which one you'll actually get to play first. But um, at this point in time, I want to put a timestamp somewhere like right here at the bottom of the video. And if you go to that time in the video, you'll actually get to see when I actually played this game for the very first time. 
I downloaded it on my Android device so I can actually play it right now and uh, I really hope you do click on that so you can actually see some of the gameplay. If you don't feel like doing that and you're just happy with pre-registering, I really do appreciate you clicking on this video. It means a lot. Thank you so much for your support. Please leave a like, subscribe down below for more Hyperfront and Valorant mobile content and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode.